Rick, a closed local casino could be coming back to life, all thanks to a decision that was made by voters hundreds of miles away. NBC 6's Donald Britton explains in your local election headquarters. On Saturday, voters in St. Tammany Parish said no to a proposal that would have brought a casino to that area. The license was to be moving south from Diamond Jacks. The problem is if you've got a market that has um, a sufficient number of casinos to service customer demand and you want to move a license, where do you move it? And because Louisiana has limitations on that too. It's got to be in an approved parish for riverboat gaming and it has to be on an approved waterway. Diamond Jacks has been shut down since May of 2020. The license holder, Los Angeles-based Peninsula Pacific Entertainment, planned to use it at a $325 million resort casino in Slido. With that plan failing, many question what will happen to Diamond Jacks. State law says the license has 60 days to be put into use. They will work with state regulators to demonstrate their suitability to reopen, that they have the equipment in place, they have the people in place, they have the processes in place before the regulators will give their consent for them to resume operations in that location. Duty says if they're not going to resume operations, they will have to notify the board of another proposal or their intent to surrender the license. He feels the Shreveport Bossier market can handle Diamond Jack's return. The market did have six boats in it prior to the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but obviously less competition in a market um, changes the landscape quite a bit. So Donald Britton, NBC6 News. Donald, thank you. St. Tammany's referendum failed with 63% of voters saying no.